Hello everyone. Again, I am back with a new video. So today's topic is conic sections. As you can see, I have made so many cones for you. So conic section, as the name suggests, means sections of a cone. Cone, you know, is a three-dimensional figure. So if we take out the cutouts of that cone, so that cutouts are actually known as conic sections, right? And they are two-dimensional figures. So as the name suggests, the figure formed by intersection of a plane and a circular cone. Obviously, if you will take a cutout, that means you have to cut a cone by something. So we are taking a plane. Plane I have taken as a knife, as a plane, and cones I have made cones from a clay, clay play doh. So, so we are going to just see how practically we can form conic sections in this video and geometrically you'll get to know in the next in my next video i'm going to show how geometrically you can show your take uh, you construct your conic sections and today in this video i'm going to show you practically how you can do this right so keep liking subscribing and sharing the video if you like and do watch the next one right so today First, we'll start with a definition. Definition says that a figure formed by the intersection of a plane and a circular cone, as just I told you, that if you cut the cone with the help of a plane, so you'll get different portion, different sections of a cone. They are named as conic sections. In all, depending upon the angle of a plane, means how we are moving the plane, perpendicular to the base or parallel to the base or at some angle to the base so we'll have four different conic sections that is first is a circle second is an ellipse third is a parabola fourth is a hyperbola actually they are main they are three types only that is ellipse parabola and hyperbola circle is a particular case of ellipse only right so if you take all the distances equal that means if all the um, a and b is equal so you'll get a circle right so I'll show you how all this happens. So firstly, we'll move one by one. Firstly, you'll take a circle. Circle is a curve traced out by a point, moves in a plane so that a distance from the given point is constant. So as you all know, what is a circle? Circle is a curve traced out by a point that moves in a plane so that distance from a given fixed point is constant to all the points, right? Similarly, ellipse is a plane curve surrounded by two focal points such that for all the points in a circle, the sum of the two distances of the focal points is constant. Parabola is a locus of point in that plane that are equidistant from both the directrix and focus. Hyperbola is a set of points such that for any point P of the set, the absolute difference of the distances is constant so all this is a geometrical definition this we'll see in the next video and today we are going to do it practically first so how practically you're going to get these four figures let's see I made a sketched a figure for you so it's all the angles four angles I've taken firstly I'm going to take an angle parallel to the base so if you see the yellow cone I will cut this cone parallel to the base my knife my plane is parallel to the base so if i cut this so if i'll cut this so you'll get a figure parallel to the base right so we'll get a circle this is parallel to the base right so you will get a circle over here if you cut the cone parallel to the base right so i've cut this cone before only for you nextly second figure is your ellipse so what is an ellipse? If we'll not cut this cone, actually not cut this cone parallel to the plane, but just add some angle. I'm slanting it a bit. So if you'll cut like slant, so you will get a ellipse, right? So if you'll cut just slantly, not parallel, but just a bit slant at some angle, you'll get a ellipse, elongated circle, is it? Nextly, if we'll cut the third one, that is parabola. So if we'll cut this cone parallel, uh, no, not parallel actually, but if we'll cut this cone, little slant, but till the base, base the cup cut karoge. If we'll cut it till the base, you'll get a, you'll get a 
parabola oh wow you'll get a parabola right it will cut till base and it will cut till base but perpendicular to the base so you'll get a hyperbola like this so hyperbola is actually like this par perpendicular to the base circle is parallel to the base ellipse is a bit at slant angle and parabola is actually slant only but till the base of the cone so you'll get these four conic sections practically if you'll see and for the geometrical construction of these four conic sections do watch the next video keep watching keep liking keep subscribing thank you so much